Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and if you are new here, my channel is all about motherhood, lifestyle, and home decor. So for today's video, we are going to be doing some winter decorating, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. I've been planning this for a little bit, so hopefully you guys like it. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off with my entryway, I went ahead and added this lamp that I thrifted and I decided to change the lampshade. I wanted to do something a little bit more vintage looking, so I went with this pleated one from Target. And for anybody that's looking for links for any of these items, you can find that down below in the description box. And then moving on to right next to the lamp, I added these books. Some of these are thrifted. This one is the Feels Like Home. You can find that one on Amazon. And then on top, I just added this. And I like having like the flipped look just to keep it a little bit more clear cleaner and minimal and then on top I added this vintage clay pot right next to it I added the brass little tray from Target from their newest release as well as a Casa Luna candle and then on the opposite side I added this vase from Hobby Lobby with some branches from outside And last but not least, I added my favorite piece from the Studio Media collection, and that is this portrait. So now moving on to my living room. So this is our formal living room and that's the reason why this place looks very formal, of course. We don't really use this space. We have a family room where we actually hang out. But basically, we're gonna start off with my coffee table and I added this marble tray from the Target collection as well. And I put a candle and a little candle, what is it called, scissor thingy on there as well. This vase is from Home Goods, and yes, it still has a little tag on it. If anybody has any tips on how to remove it very easily, please let me know. I would love your suggestions. But I basically just took these branches from the tree outside my house, and I thought it would look perfect. And I also think it's the perfect way to describe winter, when like the leaves are gone and it's just bare branches. And then next to that, I added this down to earth book. I really love this specific page. So I opened it up to that one and then I added a magnifying glass on top of it just for some visual interest. And then these books, you guys, I will link down below. These are from Etsy. These are literally gold. So they're actually empty. I haven't seen anything like this before, but basically, they're like, you know, your very expensive decor books, but they're actually very functional, which I think is so much better than paying $100 for the Arch Architectural Digest book. And then moving on to my couch, I added these awesome taupey velvet pillows. These I bought at Home Goods, but I will link some similar ones. This pillow is from Target, as well as this floral one. And then this one is pure gold. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that this one I just found recently, but it's so beautiful. You can find it at Michael's. I will also link it down below, but seriously, the best find. It's so big and amazing quality. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break over in my kitchen and today's video is sponsored by Green Chef So thank you Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. So today we are going to be cooking some delicious food We are going to be doing the creamy chicken alfredo, which I'm so excited to try So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and they have tons of different options for every lifestyle They have keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean and gluten-free. They make making dinner and any lunch and any meal so so easy and so convenient for myself especially for me that i'm always busy running around filming videos taking care of the kids it just makes everything so much easier with green chef you can also bring more flavor to your table in the new year with green chef's delicious nutritious recipes they have unique farm fresh ingredients like figs dates and artichoke their flavors are also inspired by international cuisines and they have delicious choices for breakfast lunch and dinner that fit your healthy lifestyle and 
it's just honestly the best meal kit for eating well. So one of my goals for the new year is to be able to eat a little bit more healthy and that also obviously involves eating healthier food. So Green Chef definitely makes that possible for any of you guys that might have that goal. And the best part is that Green Chef saves you the time by taking care of meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep for you week after week so you don't have to. If you are interested in signing up for Green Chef, then you can go ahead and use my code COZY60 for 60% off and free shipping. You just go to greenchef.com for more details. Again, if you are interested, make sure to use my code COZY60 for 60% off and free shipping. So you just go to greenchef.com for more details. And thank you again, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. And let's hop right back into it. So moving on to the opposite side of my couch, I just added this really pretty blanket from, I believe it was last spring's collection. They might, might still have it, maybe not, but I do love it and I don't change it out because it's just my favorite blanket. So I just kind of draped it on the side with no like intention to it. I didn't try and perfect it or anything. And then moving on to my console table. So this one, I finally found a place to put it. I really like the way it looks here. And basically what I did here is a makeshift lamp. You guys know that these vintage lamps are extremely expensive. They're like $300. So I kind of just made one and I ordered some puck lights to put inside of it just to actually make it more functional. But I love the way it looks. And then right next to it, I just added two more home decor or home, yeah, home decor books. This Studio McGee vase. And I actually brought that back for the spring collection. And then I added these chamomile flowers and although it's not spring in california these do bloom during this time so that's the reason why i added these because i do think it just adds that that real touch from california obviously you could do a flower that's native to your state or even just bare branches like the rest of my home and then right next to that i just added a paper mache bowl and last but not least, I went ahead and fluffed up my ottomans and called it a day. And I love how simple and minimal the room looks. Seriously, my favorite thing ever. If you guys are interested in seeing how I decorate the rest of my home, which is my family room, formal dining area, and my kitchen, then definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. All right, and that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know what your favorite part was, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.